following up on the Judy Austin's case, Judy Austin, uh, Yo Ledoche, and uh, Me Yo. Okay, so following up on this issue is taking a different dimension now. As at yesterday, this lover came up with a story and she said, Pet Edoshe, which is the father of Yul, has made an arrangement for Judy to come to the main house. What does that mean? It means she is still okay with the family. Whether there is any DNA that is reading something else or whatever, the marriage is still going on. The marriage is still going on. That is why I have always come, I have always come on my videos and I have always advised every married woman never to fight because a second wife is coming in. Never to, as in don't fight your husband, don't fight the second wife or the side chick that is coming in. Rather, think about your own self. Because, okay, me has been shouting, doing some things on the internet, complaining and all those kind of things. But even with the complaint, in the midst of the complaint, in the midst of the calamity, a new baby has come in. That is two children now and the stress is on. In the process, this lady is going to the family house, coming back. Everything is still going on well. Of what use is the fight? Of what use is the quarreling? Of what use is the argument? That is why I will still use this medium to advise every married woman. When you are told or you saw or you suspect, it's better you see with your eyes or you are told by the man that there is a side chick somewhere or there is a second wife somewhere. When you suspect, ignore your suspect. Only act when you have actually been told by the man or you have seen with your eyes. Okay, suspects should not be used, okay? When this come up, you have been told there is a side chick. You have been told there is a second wife. All you have to do is, can your heart bear this? It's always very painful. This is always very painful to the woman in the house, to the first wife. Think about it. Can your heart bear it? If your heart is not strong enough to bear it, it can kill you, it can give you high blood pressure, it can give you depression. And you know when this thing come up, your life has been disorganized. So, if you cannot manage the situation as the wife, instead of making trouble, it's better for you to live, to save your mental health, to save your life. It's better for you to live. Then again, if you made the decision to live, can you survive? Can you provide food for yourself? When I say, can you provide food for yourself? Some people will be thinking, what's in the food? Let me tell you, there are some able-bodied women. They cannot provide food for themselves. They cannot do any business or any work that can make them eat three square meal a day. I'm telling you from life experience. So, if you are this kind of woman, you will not be able to provide for yourself. It's better you train your heart on how to manage the situation. Okay, because the quarreling, the fighting, the shouting on the internet, disturbing family and friends, my dear, is not going to change anything. Rather, the more you complain, the more you shout, the more you do anything you want to do, the more the love between your husband and the psychic or the second wife will be stronger. So, like as they always say, marriage is for better for worse nobody has ever said marriage is for do or for die okay so if you can manage the situation accept it it has happened you keep on going with your life but if you cannot manage it better to quit those of you that can provide for yourself and your heart cannot manage the situation it's better to quit to save yourself all i'm driving at here is when these things happen you have two options, no other option than the two options. The two options is, is either you are accepting the situation and saying, yes, I'm a first wife, there are other wives coming behind me. Be strong and take it this way or quit immediately. Quit immediately. 
Because if you are not accepting this situation, ask yourself, how many years do you want to complain? How many years do you want to complain? Okay, May is about 40, 41 years old. And people are expected to stay up to 100 years or 100 years plus. Imagine if she continued to complain and she had been complaining since 2022. We are in 2023. That is almost one year now. She will not continue to complain till how many years? So it's either she's accepting it or she quits. Let there be peace in her own life, in the life of internet in-laws and everybody. There is no point of making this noise. The more you are complaining, the more the husband is pregnant in the new wife. If care is not taken, the more is, is even having more side chicks. So how many years do you want to fight? How many years do you want to fight? How many years do you want to fight? That is the question. So to all the women out there, protect your life, protect your heart. Think well and make a decision that will suit you. If you know your heart is too weak to accept a side chick or to accept a second wife, you quit. But if you can manage the situation, you stay. Then again, if you think if you leave, you will not be able to provide food for yourself, then you have to manage and stay there. Because to some women, their men is their source of income. The food they eat, the clothes, the housing, the everything is their men. If you are in this kind of situation, you cannot provide yourself. Better stay. And let me tell you, polygamy is not a reason why a man will not take care of any woman. It is in the heart and in the brain of the man. I have seen a man, I don't want to mention the name, okay, that have nine good wives, nine, nine, nine. The nine are living perfectly fine. The nine are living in one big compound. All their children are in school. Everybody have food to eat. Everybody have good uh, clothes to wear. How this man has programmed himself is when a woman has a baby, the baby stay with the, the woman and go from the pre kg to um, primary. At the end of the primary school, when the child wants to enter just one, it takes the child to be born in direct to all the women. The last time we counted the children, he was having 49 children already. I believe by now the children should be going to 60 already because all the wives, we are still young and we are still having children. All the nine wives, they were still young and we are still having children. Okay? The, none of the nine wives ever complain of hunger and all of them are full-time housewife. He provides for them, provides for the children. Everybody's child, as you are starting your junior secondary, you are going to the board and direct. During Christmas time, he buy clothes, buy everything for everybody. Okay, that aside, I have a man also that has seven wives and still have side chicks in the next community. The seven wives he has paid their rent, they are living in the same compound. He established a provision shop for two in the compound, opened a pharmacy for another one, and just like that, like that everybody is comfortable. So that there is a side chick or there is a second wife will not make a man to starve you and your children. Polygamy is not the reason why a man abandoned his wife and children. I have seen many people in monogamy. Monogamy means only one wife, but they are suffering hell. Before they can eat one square meal, the wife has to struggle, do everything, while the, the man is enjoying his money with his side shake somewhere. So, polygamy is not the reason why a man should abandon his wife and children. So, you don't have to be... Um, thinking maybe if a second wife come in or there is a side shake, um, the man will now stop doing what he used to do. No, a reasonable man will continue to do what he is supposed to do, his responsibility he will continue to do. I will bring in this uh, issue of uh, the original Daniel and the Lila. When Ned bought a car for original Daniel, on the birthday of a Lila, he bought a car for her too. When he provided a house for uh, Regina Dane, he also gave Lila a house in her own uh, country. You know, she's from another country. A reasonable man will provide for all the wife equally. 
So please, please, let's live a healthy life, a life of peace, a life of harmony. Whenever a man make a decision to bring in a second wife or a side chick, you, the first wife, please accept it. If you cannot accept it, walk away. Walk away. Stop. All this plenty noise every year. The noise you are making is not helping. The noise you are making is not helping. You decide to complain to your pastor. Is it pastor that is not making the same mistake? Let me tell you. There is a pastor of um, one apostolic church. He was a pastor. The wife was working in um, whether MPDC as a big madam. He was the one that helped to give the connection to the wife. So, in the church, you know when church is big, they used to have workers. So, they employ a girl as a secretary. After um, a while, the wife begins to tense up, saying uh, that the pastor, which is her husband, is dating the uh, secretary. It became a very big problem. The pastor was trying to explain that this accusation he is innocent. The woman continued to pressurize, fight, destroy, do a lot of things. So the man got angry and took Ashmo to her. She went to her company police and told them to sack the woman. That if they don't sack the woman, he's going to sue the company. Immediately, they sacked the woman. Then he came back home and arranged for the secretary to be married. He married the secretary and divorced the wife that is making the too much trouble. And after he divorced the wife, the wife could not... She could not stay because there is no more job and she was not prepared for it. There was no business to. After one month, the wife died. So of what benefit is the fight? You are fighting. There is a girl, there is a girl, there is a girl. Now you lose your source of income. You lose your marriage. You lose your life. Does it make sense to you? Does it make sense? Do I need to tell you about another couple of uh, pastor? This one, if I make a description of him, everybody will know. The wife was overstressing, over disturbing. What he did was, he just arranged properly for the wife to handle a branch of the church in another country. Furnish it, make it very perfect. If you see it, you would like to be here. After everything, he told the wife, you are managing this church. Okay? And she was thinking, this is a good thing. But after a while, she's trying to come back home to Nigeria. The pastor was depriving her from coming back to Nigeria. After a long while, she forced herself, I'm going. She came, surprisingly, got in there. Choir mistress, choir mistress is now a wife in Nigeria. She was so defacitated and she got angry and filed for a divorce. So what am I trying to tell you? Complaining to the pastor is of no use. Complaining to the elders of the community. Is it not the elders that are already having seven wives, having nine wives already? So who are you complaining to? The only option you have is accept it. This is my fate or you walk away. You walk away. Accept it or walk away. That is the thing. Okay. So concerning Yul and uh, Judy Austin and the uh, May, if I have any updates, I will still be coming to tell you. When I'm giving you updates about these people, I'm using them as an example and I want people to learn. I'm not coming here to criticize, oh, the man is bad, the woman is bad. Like some people are saying, eh, one is doing juju, one is using kayamata. No, I will not be here to condemn anybody, but I will keep highlighting their story for everybody to learn from it. To learn from it. Let everybody learn. It is high time we stop hearing uh, one woman died because of uh, maltreatment in marriage. This one happened. This one happened. No. Let's highlight ill stories, negative stories in relationships so that other people may learn. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my station. Don't forget, subscribe, share my stories, and drop your comments. Whatever I'm telling you is my point of view. If you have another point of view, Drop it at the comment section so that other people will learn too. And if you have any story you want me to talk about, send it to me and I will talk about it. But your story must be genuine and true.